What's up, YouTube folks? Rafi here. And this is episode number seven. Hopefully it's a lucky number here. So we are going to get even weirder than the last episode. Yep, we are going for fake words. Words that don't even exist. What will YouTube pull out of its mm, behind this time? All right, so let's go for three. I think three words is like a good balance. Uh, let's see. Three, two, one. Okay, we got faux, wedl wedlexes, and seft. All right, so remember, these are not real words. Okay, I'm really curious to see what we get. All right, on to our first fake words video. Okay, obviously, nobody has a clue what kind of video we can get, but somehow the algorithm knows. Okay, let's find out. We get how to remove the headdress guide on the funf and flow. What does that mean? Funf and flow? A year ago, 818 views. It's only 11 seconds long. I... What? Okay, I don't know how this even came. So just take a knife huh? and slide it into the guide and pop it off. Okay, what is that? I guess it's some... What? <laughs> okay, hold, on. hold on, let's watch this again. So okay, what is this? And slide it into the guide and pop F it off. Okay. F hold on. Does it... Okay, it doesn't say what this is. F funf? Funf and flow. You know what? I'm going to put funf and flow just to see what we get. Funf and flow. Okay, just curious to know what we are looking at. Okay, so, so we got this video again, but this time it's a shorts. Funf versus flow convertible. Oh, car seat. Oh, it's something with car seats. Oh. Okay, okay, it's like a mechanism to lock it down or unlock it. Okay. Yeah, so so he uploaded it one time in shorts. And I'm, I'm assuming this is the same video. Okay, what uh, oh, no, it's you're going to do here in order to get the cap and button onto the guide, you're going to have to get this little cap I see. on the metal bracket. To is that the same person? Yeah. Pocket inside the button. You gently place the cover over top. But that, but if he has this, why slightly. why does he need the other video? Place the button over top, such that you have that. Okay. And that is it. Okay, so it's uh. Okay, what uh you? Gonna... All right, so I guess it's this button Just thing. Just take a knife and slide it. Okay, it's for a car seat. The guide and pop it it's, it's some kind of latch mechanism maybe or something okay all right now we know on to the ratings okay so first up entertainment i mean a 10 second video there's obviously nothing that can be entertaining for that short period of time zero out of five next up production obviously there isn't zero out of five uh, finally, education. I mean, this is where this video could have gotten some points, but unfortunately, it's such a specific thing that this video is doing. It would have been better if, you know, it was maybe like a few minutes long showing more of the car seat, other features than just one little, you know, operation. Uh, yeah, zero out of five. Okay, so going into this episode, I knew that looking for videos with fake words may not be a fruitful endeavor, but something tells me there's some gold to dig up, okay? 
now the only way is up so that's the good news all right our quest into the unknown continues let's see if my gut feeling is correct here okay three two one all right we've got ub canis chuggins oh boy right on to our second search all right so okay this might be a clue here ub campus i wonder what ub stands for that might be what we get okay let's do this so we got a ub campus tour 100,000 views two years ago university of buffalo here we go admissions okay the university at buffalo is a top 40 public research institution and home to a diverse inclusive community of bright scholars okay so we're gonna go on a tour uh eight minutes long okay let's do this here we go welcome oh, to the pretty. university at buffalo here's an inside look uh, at new york's Roman temple, largest there. and most comprehensive public research institution UB right. has more than 30,000 students, and they live and I I stayed on in three campuses, north, south, and downtown. The north campus Stay is in school, located kids. in Amherst, a large Buffalo or else suburb end up just like minutes me. from the city. This is where most undergraduates spend on their YouTube time. with four the subscribers. Is designed around oh, I like this. This is nice. a long stretch of academic it's a big place called the Spine. Silverman Library is a 21st Lots century Lots of information and a for students here. Activity. There are group study spaces, a silent study room, and a cafe. Sell their university. It's also I want where one. students get their parking permits and where they can meet what is this, a DMV? without financial aid. World-class academic environment. World-class, baby. Tutoring and academic support services offer Oh, math, no. Don't show me math, students. please. Scary. The experiential learning network is a ELN. place to explore Hey cameraman, I say what the hell? Projects with faculty, Honors College, the oldest and largest Oh, hey, why are you unplugging that? And the accessibility resources office where what? students with what? disabilities Wait, what? What? can request accommodation <laughs> okay the cameraman knew about this the, look at this where students come on cameraman really of all the of all the rooms in this school campus you chose this room Brand construction new underway cafe. This nice photoshop job eatery will serve foods from Hot. around the globe and will be a gathering spot Food for from faculty, around the globe. students, and staff. Along the spine, there are a number of buildings that house programs in arts That's and the sciences, spine right there. management, education, law, and hey, social work. Too much Many butt of these there. Buildings are fine, oh, look at all the snow. The winter. Damn. When students get to class, I don't miss the snow, that's for sure. In big lecture halls. But there are smaller, more intimate classes Moved away too, from Montreal. Like the UB Seminar. Its buildings are dedicated to the arts. Okay, and arts. Athletics. I like arts. Slee Hall is home to the Department of Music. Music, with hell yeah. rooms and the Lippis Concert Hall. The Payona. This venue seats 700 people and is said to have almost perfect acoustics. Hey. The campus and community come together at the Center for nice the camera Arts work. for all kinds of creative well, activities. It's arts. And media study. So Can every make day, money with students arts? here are working on their craft in the, studios what it, what? on what was students. That? Football game day brings thousands I'm very of athletic, by the way. stadium. And enthusiastic fans are I loud and proud in the True Blue student concerts. Oh, no. Events like the homecoming carnival Bad and dancing. weekend. What the? Nearby is the site of what? one of UB's favorite annual events. What is this? Ooze Fest. Ooze students Fest. get down and dirty during this oh. mud volleyball tournament each spring. Nasty. One of our most popular campus traditions. Oh, nice. Anytime students yeah, old English. Events, Massages. Yeah, show me that. Robot Wars. More. Damn. It's like this place is everything. Many student clubs and organizations Jeez. that are always looking Break for Break dancing? Jesus. UB club spans so There's many like a class for everything. Interests, number one among SUNY centers. Can we like With go food here food but not to learn, just to hang out? With their expertise this and place their knowledge, is loaded. UB is helping communities prepare for Earthquake? Is there any earthquakes in this area away. of the world? What is that? Whose research Power gloves? Lives. Jeez. And all space exploration and digital archives. Space exploration? great experiences that build close relationships with a mentor. I don't want to go there. The door to future plans and new opportunities. Nice hair, bro. Living at UB is safe, convenient, yeah, and Yeah, I want to live there. 
Students have lots of options on where to live, including and residence a pool halls, table. apartment style living, and communities based Everything. on interests. The Alicate Residence Hall. I like that most of the time they show the summer. Area by trails, like the winter was ponds, just like two seconds shot. It has award winning dining options, lounges, free laundry facilities. Free laundry facilities. Jeez. Show me the snow. Good Come on. Be realistic Clement here. Offer the same safe, How much food can you show? And a special There's like a million restaurants in here. Classic architecture. Long more. Abbott Hall has Another minute. beautiful study spaces and it just houses doesn't end. library. With its own subway station, Buffalo, the South never Campus been there. is a gateway to downtown Buffalo and UB's Actually, third campus. I've never been to New York. The oh, School embarrassing. Of Medicine and Bus. The school is wow. in a new state what is of that? the art building where education and research come together. We hope to see you here yeah. soon. Yeah. You know what? Contact I'm moving to Buffalo. Screw, to find screw out Cali. And connect with us on social Buffalo is the place to be. Oh, it snows. Never mind. All right, time for the ratings. First up, we got entertainment. All right, so uh, it's not really the point of this video, but it was so well paced and always showed something new on campus. It was never boring and you always wanted to see what else this university has to offer its students so that said i would give entertainment a two out of five okay moving on to production and this is where this video shines it is so well shot professionally the university spend money on this video they did not half ass it. It is superb. Now, I would say the only slight drawback is unfortunately there they don't have a map in here. And they keep showing different parts of the campus. It would have been just so perfect just to know where everything is situated. Uh, but still a solid four out of five. And finally, we got education. All right, now, since this is a tour video, we don't dive too deep into the campus and history. It's just to reel in prospective students um, who are curious about the university and want to get an overview what to, what to expect now that being said um it, it again it does a good job at that the score wise the best i can do education i, I can give it a four out of five uh, because if i was a student curious about this university uh, yeah i i think with this video I might just be sold. And my gut was right. A historic comeback. One for the books. All right. Time for number three. Okay. Let's see what we get this time. Three, two, one. Okay. Plancy Delst. Leto Manning. Express? Okay. Oh, well, let's see what we get. All right. I got a good feeling again. Let's do it. Come on. We got some weird words here. Or actually, not even words. Fake words. Okay. Let's see what we get. Let's express. Okay. Okay. That's a channel. That's not a video. Okay. First video is Metro Express Lanes. How it works. Mandarin subtitles, uh, 1,700 views, 10 years old, Metro LA. Okay, so, okay, it's from the city. So, uh, this video explains all the basics you need to know about how to Metro Express lanes work. Okay, I'm actually familiar with LA and the Metro Express lanes. I used to live here. 
I don't live too far now. It's just two minutes. Let's see what this is all about. Metro Express Lanes is a one-year pilot. Now, since pilot this is 10 years old, it might be outdated, but let's... The project, which uses congestion pricing to reduce congestion for oh, motorists way, and transit riders I find on two Metro of the Express most congested freeways in the United BS. States. The Metro Express Lanes pilot area includes 11 miles of converted carpool okay. lanes on the I-110 e Harbor Freeway. Okay. On the 110, it's actually pretty good because it's like a... It's like an overpass, like a bridge, basically, that goes above the the regular freeway. So it works here, but in some places, Between the 91 freeway in Adams Boulevard in downtown Los makes Angeles, it worse. and 14 miles of converted carpool lanes yeah, on the here, I-110 yeah. El Monte freeway. Between I this part of it is complete. BS. 605 and Alameda Street in downtown Los Angeles. It's because it's two Nine lanes. Nine new lane miles added between the I-605 and, no and the I-710 in both directions will yeah, increase capacity that doesn't capacity help congestion. It just makes it worse. Travel speeds. Express lanes user tolls will vary from yeah, I'm 25 cents to $1.40 per mile. Well, Every this was 10 years ago anyway. Every motorist using the Metro Express lanes is oh, always these required things, yeah. to have a yeah, fast When I got mine, I never got this thing. I've seen these. Mine was just like a sticker that goes on the windshield. Uh, and I guess there's a chip inside. But this is the old ones where there's a switch inside. On the inside of the windshield in this location or this location. Customers yeah, who already ones. have a standard fast track can only use the Metro Express lanes yeah, as a toll Yeah, mine said fast track customer. on it. Customers who want the option to travel as a toll-paying solo yeah, driver and or toll-free yeah, carpooler will need a new switchable yeah, The weird thing track. about the switch is one is the middle, two is the left, three is right. I don't know why. Carpools, van yeah, pools, this is like and motorcycles. Here, like. So two lanes are express, and then there's no carpool lanes here. It's complete bullshit. Pardon my French. With a fast track transponder, will yeah, travel one of these lanes in the should Metro have been Express a lanes. carpool lane. If you are driving alone and choose to drive in the Metro Express lanes, before you begin your trip, set your fast track transponder to one to indicate yeah. a single Why is occupant one in the middle? In the vehicle. Oh, you can then use the Metro Express lanes by paying a toll electronically. As you approach a Metro Express lanes entrance, an overhead electronic mm -hmm. sign displays the current toll. For a more yeah, reliable changes. travel time during your trip, this enter the Metro just, Express oh, lanes at the designated entry point. Your toll amount is locked in and will not change during your trip. So they're basically You'll taking, enjoy travel it's like taking advantage that there's traffic by making you pay. 45 miles per hour. And remember, carpools, van pools, and motorcycles travel toll-free with a fast track. What? Just indicate the number of occupants in your vehicle on the transponder prior to starting your trip to travel toll-free. You're on your way. No stopping for toll booths, less congestion to slow you down, and a less stressful drive. Yeah, but it's about time. No, no. They make it seem like, oh yeah, we're here for the people. We just made these lanes. No, no. You're just taking advantage of the traffic. Yeah, complete BS. I'm going to actually dislike this because I don't like the express lanes. There you go. Yeah. Feedback shared. All right, on to the ratings. First up, entertainment. Okay, uh, sorry, City of LA, but this video is boring as hell. A zero out of five. Okay, on to production. And this video is completely computer generated. It does a decent job. And it does have the Mandarin subtitles, which is really what the whole point of this video is. Uh, I can give it a two out of five. All right, moving on to education. And well, the express lane is in fact on far more freeways than the ones noted in this video. The pricings have changed. The device used has changed. So it is so outdated that why would you even have it up on your channel, right? Uh, it can just confuse some people. So 
education wise i guess you could just have an idea of the express lane uh system but that's it one out of five all right and just like that la guts buffalo's momentum and hopefully the next video if it's a city related one it can stop this bully all right on to search number four three two one okay we got heater sir ductorm and rathus perfect all right on to video number four and we got okay product highlight impedance heating what does that mean impedance heating okay 785 views two years ago by valen corporation impedance heating systems act much like standard heating circuits except the resistor is the pipe itself okay, heating systems heating like, like like home home heating like uh what heating what uh okay well let's take a look and see three minute long okay here we go, Valin, okay. Product pilot, impedance heating. Okay, let's learn something here. I don't know what that means, impedance heating. Okay, so, uh, so we see a pipe. Okay, impedance heating system, match. Uh, okay, wait. Okay, uh, this is what we read earlier, okay. So the resistor is the pipe itself. Okay, there's the pipe. Okay, so there's no voiceover. I guess it's all text. Uh, this is accomplished when a small amount of AC voltage is applied across the terminals. These resulting impedance of the system generates heat on the pipe. Okay, so they're heating up this pipe. Okay. Here we go. Red means hot. Okay. Uh, the control panel for the impedance system provides power and control. Okay. However, wait, uh, the step down transformer is what provides the reduced voltage 30 VAC or less to the pipe. This rating system uh, stays within OSHA and NEC limits. Okay. Okay. So, so this is the electric boxes here. Power wires are connected to stainless steel terminal plates via lugs. Okay. So, for class level, I have div two applications, perforated shields protect against any potential of arcing. Installation is hold on. Installation is designed around your existing system or determined through design stages. This provides additional touch safety measures and minimizes thermal losses. Okay. Okay, so this is basically where the wires go, I guess. Weld pad thermal couples are used for monitoring the pipes temperature and in high limit control okay so process temperature of the pipe media must be monitored using an immersion thermocouple okay so it looks like what it's water heater maybe this looks like water which then runs back to a control panel completing the thermal loop. I thought it's like a heater for the home. But this is probably a water heater. Right? This looks like... Yeah. See? Okay, so water goes in this pipe. So, so I guess the pipe heats the water up? Is that what it is? Isolation kits are available in case of T's and alternate connections. These components block the current flow to areas where heat is not needed. Okay. I'm still a bit confused about this thing. Okay. So this is for different dimensions i guess just to block it okay as opposed to conventional heat trace systems 
impedance systems are simple to install due to the low number of components required okay okay but but isn't this kind of you know usually water heaters have a large tank i mean this looks like just a pipe is this for home use or something else Impedance systems can be installed without disturbing most of the existing installations. Steam and heat tray systems have limited points of contact to piping, which causes inefficient heat transfer. This leads to the heater burnout and large margins of error and temperature control. I don't quite know. If this is, is, uh, is this system in use somewhere? Or is this pipe like really large and we're just seeing a little small portion of it? I'm not sure. However, impedance systems have evenly distributed voltage along the pipe, creating even heating. This way there are no hot spots and the system has a longer lifespan. Yeah, that, I mean, I get that there's no hot sauce because it's the pipe itself is heating it up, right? Which makes sense. I think a, a, a tank is, I believe, the lower part is hot. You know, uh, conventional water heaters. The big tanks, the lower part is hot and the upper ones are still uh, warm or cold. Easy installation, no routine maintenance, eliminates costly heater failure. I mean, I'm guessing if this fails, this is going to be costly too, right? Longer lifetime than standard heat system. Efficient heat transfer, uniform heat. Again, this seems from this, you know, this uh, graphic here, the heat pipe seems kind of small. I mean, this is probably last like maybe, maybe one shower, maybe, right? I mean, if, if it's a big house with a lot of people, I mean, I don't think this thing can keep up, right? Or maybe I'm just, I have no idea what I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> to learn more. Okay. Well, it's interesting, I guess. Valen Complex Technology. All right. All right. Let's see if there's anything, anything more here. Okay, just one comment. How long is the impedance heating designed for? You're like how long it lasts, I guess. Okay, this is the stuff that we already uh, read in there. All right. And it's time for the ratings. First up, we got entertainment. Well, this video is short and interesting enough for me that I wanted to see it through and see what all this was about. Uh, probably not for everybody. Uh, the best I could do is a one out of five. Okay, moving on to production. So we got back to back uh, completely computer generated videos. Now this one, I wish actually had the real product there um, if it even exists if this is not a concept I, I wish we could see the product just to have a better idea of its dimensions uh, just because when it's computer generated uh, you just don't know the real scale of it this thing might be much bigger than it looks I, I don't know also, uh, this video lacks uh, voiceover. It's just text-based, unlike the previous one. So that does hurt. Uh, the best I could do is a two out of five. All right, moving on to education. And this video does a pretty good job at explaining what this so-called impedance system 
is and how it works. Uh, I'm guessing this is just a, this video is just in layman's terms here. They didn't want to complicate it too much. Uh, so it, it, for like it's a three minute video, obviously. It, it does a pretty good job, I believe. I can give it a three out of five. And can we get three CG videos in a row? Stay in your lazy boys and we'll find out. All right, time for video number five. Johnny Five is alive. Three, two, one. Okay, we got Quar Bonus. Wires. Wires. Tib. All right, let's see what we get. All right, let's get to it. I'm not even going to try to guess here. We got Cablophil Productivity Saving Solutions Tease. 131 views a year ago. Le Grand North America. What are these shelves? Horizontal T with SWK. When creating a T, use the installation guide to find your cutting pattern. Um. What is that exactly? Cablofill tees, okay. Every contractor needs to find ways to save time with a shrinking labor force and tight schedule. The ease of every installation matters. Cablofill has a solution, okay. What? Cut and bolt. What? Easy. T what? What are these things? What are these? Times or horizontal T with S W K. When creating a T. Use the installation guide to find your Are cutting pattern. Shelves? Bend the side wires to 45 Wait, that's degrees. that's like the third computer-generated video in a row. Crazy. With a large screwdriver. Then secure the side wires with an SWK splice washer kit. Add SWK splices install. to secure the bottom wires. Okay. Horizontal T with easy T. For cutting steps, follow the installation guide for an easy T90T. The EZT90 bar okay, makes the unit strong ways to install and works on any horizontal fitting. The T, Thread make all it, nuts making it a T first, each. then tighten for a secure junction. One EZT90 kit this will make one T junction. What? What are those? For cutting steps, follow the installation guide for an RAD T90T. RAD T90 is perfect for radius bends and okay. large data center installations. Data center. The RAD okay. T90 creates a radius it's term like for that makes pulling cable easier and provides additional cable support in the radius area. Computer cables. Yeah, like servers or something, right? Or it can be other things, I guess. But okay, so to put basically the cables through those channels of the, uh, of, the of, of those. Oh, there you go. See, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, I get what they are. Okay, makes sense. Any more info? No, uh, no comments, nothing. Um, okay, so there's three kinds. I guess they sell, they sell those. Yeah, I guess the cables go through these, uh, the the racks here. Okay, to organize it. Okay, okay, I get it. All right, it's time for the ratings. First up, we got entertainment, and unfortunately, this is pretty boring. Uh, it's just not a visually interesting video. I mean, it's basically cutting racks and that's it. And it's in CG. So yeah, it's a zero out of five. All right, on to production. Okay, so this video is also computer generated. And in this case, it actually hurts this video because this is such a simple thing just cutting tees or putting the tees together uh on these racks why why use a computer i mean this could have easily be done by a person doing it and having a crew recording that and it would have been m such a more visually pleasing experience the last video, I get it because they were trying to show what's going on inside those pipes. But in this, it's just racks. So, so completely wasted opportunity. 
Uh, it does have some voiceover, which was nice. Score-wise, the best I can do, I, I can't give more than a one out of five. And finally, we got education. And it seems like using these kits is a pretty simple process, um, especially if you're in this field. It's just a minute long video. Obviously, that it does not go into any detail. Just the concept here, just how to put it together. And that's it. So the best I can do is a one out of five. All right, so we've had several short videos. So we are going to keep trucking along. Let's get to the next video. All right, on to video number six. I believe this is the first time we head in this territory here. Three, two, one. Okay, we got Sificatable, Euleratha, and more. Okay. All right. Final video of the episode. And let's see what we got. Okay, um, what? Sweet 16 birthday. I think this is Hebrew. So is the, is the video, I, I guess it's not, let me, let's, let's see how long, 23 minutes. Wow, okay, let's take a look and see what this is. <laughs> Sweet 16 vlog, okay. Okay, some super cuts here. Oh. Oh, this is not, this is not English, I think. Summer 20, you need more. Okay, so she has 11,300 subs. So, okay, she has some fans. Nope, not English. Okay, um, well, let's try to figure out what they're saying here, I guess. Um, you see the comments are, nope, they're Hebrew also. Uh, what? Leo bitch? What? what was that? Leo bitch. <laughs> okay, she's saying it's my birthday soon and I need expensive gifts. That's my guess. Oh, earrings. Okay, she's just showing uh, her new earrings, I guess. Maybe that's what she got for her birthday. Ah, okay. There it is. He says, I, I got an earring. No? Whoa, okay. That was blonde. What happened to her? All right, so. Oh, no. Dizzy cam. <laughs> what? Sub oh, maybe it has subtitles. Nope. Guys, come on, you could have added subtitles. Ah. Oh my god, I'm gonna get dizzy this whole video. Oh, there's a birthday cake. Okay, birthday <laughs> bitch. What the? What? What is, what is this? What's up with this? I mean, what? Why is this birthday bitch? She's turning 16. Is this legit? Or is this just a, like... Is the mom gonna be there? <laughs> Oh, she's surprised. It's her birthday. She's su so surprised. Okay, I guess this is a ha happy birthday in Hebrew. I guess. Whoa, what happened? The dog came out. Huh? There you go. That was a that was English. Ah. Okay. The mom is there. And it says birthday bitch on the cake. Oh, she's making her wish. Okay, she wishes that she had uploaded with subtitles. Yeah. Nope. That is a long ass candle. <laughs> oh, she's gonna burn her hair. Yay. There we go. Whoa. Time to party here. Okay, she got a gift card. Boo. Oh, what is that? A purse? Or something? Oh, what? She got a shoe. Oh my god, like I didn't know about that shoe. 
even though it was on my wish list. Oh my god. So surprised. Oh, tr she's trying it on. Comfortable, of course, obviously, because she's already tried it on before. Okay, next gift. It's a. Um, again, she's acting surprised, and it's a tripod. Okay. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. I hope she uses it now. Oh, I, well, I think she is using it. Cool. Is this a tripod or a whole camera? Why is she so close? Jesus. <laughs> nope, what happened? Wow, a notebook. Blank pages. A chocolate bar. And a, a diary. Dear di what? Oh. Well, that was a nice gift. That took effort. Jeez. There's her bitchy cake. That is a low cake. The cake was so low and the, the candles were so high. Really weird. Okay. And how's the cake? Oh, they like it. The mom made it, it seems like. Marshmallow? Did I hear marshmallow? I do hear a boy, I think. Oh, the cameraman's. A boy or a man. Is there cockroaches in there? Let's see. Uh, nope. Not yet. Whoa. What happened? Oh no, we're gonna see some dance moves. Please no. Teenage dance moves are a no-no. Oh, there's a Hebrew Coke. <laughs> zero Coke, zero. Why are they so close to the camera? This is the tripod, I think. What on earth? Do you say OMG or OMC? Oh, no. Okay, there we go. They're editing the video. She's saying be quiet. What? What? I am so dizzy. Oh my god. <laughs> she just dropped the laptop. Okay. Uh, what? What are they doing now? They're recording. Somebody's recording them, recording the laptop. I I'm confused. The next day, okay. The next day, whoa, she looks like 20 years older now. What happened? Okay, now she's saying now she's gonna go out for lunch or something. Oh, she's showing the candles. Yeah, she's like, why is this candle so high? What's wrong with these candles? Oh, her friend. Is that her fr I wonder if they're... Maybe they're not their friends. Maybe they're sisters. Let's try to figure this out. Okay, now I gotta fix my hair. I'm checking for my eye boogers. We're good. Cake time. Yep. These dogs always stink. Ah! My god. Why do they do these close-ups? Oh, there's the dad. Let's say hi to the dad. Oh, that's the... Is that the mom? I have no idea. There's the dad. No, that's not the mom. <laughs> dizzy. Hey, buddy. Damn. Okay. I'm seeing, like, inside her nose, it's such a close up. Move back a little bit. Jeez. Okay, so, yeah, there is lunch. Yes, I guess they're right. And there is a gift card in there. What? Coins? What was that? I miss you God. What was in there? I miss you God. Right. What? Some beeping. They beeped their own video, so I guess she might have just said a naughty word. Hey, the food looks pretty good. Hey, the, 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 okay. hey camera, cameraman. I want to see the food. I'm getting hungry here. What is that? That looks cool. It's like eggs with tomato sauce or something. Oh, that's a nice. Is that a dessert? Yep. Or is that? Yeah, that's dessert. I was like, is, is that mashed potato <laughs> with chocolate? Oh my God. They're just so bad at camera work. Good. But. Okay. Ah. Can't make sense of this. Oh, they're doing like a 
catwalk, I guess. <laughs> ah! <laughs> To, what? Oh my god. They need like a dedicated cameraman. Okay, they're saying, they're, are they going in a, like, a club or something? Day club. Why she has her eyes closed? Oh, it's like a surprise, surprise party? Um, she saw a, uh, a jumper, one of those inflatable jumpers, and she's excited, right? Yay, jumpers. No? What is it? What, an arcade machine? What is this? We're like in a... What is this? <laughs> what is this? Is this like an electronic store? Printers? What kind of surprise is this? What? What? To break? What is this? What? To break stuff? It's like they put and they have to break it? What? This is like... This is entertain... Oh no, why are they playing Sir Mix-a-Lot? Oh my god. Break? That was it? They just went there to break some plates? <laughs> Whose idea was that? That was disappointing. I wish they broke those printers. <laughs> what? Is she crying? What is that? What happened to her? Did she spell something on her? What is that? Is she crying? What just happened? I'm sorry, did some... A bird pooped. I think she got bird poop. Okay, now it's... Wait, I just... Okay, earlier there was breakfast and now it's lunch i guess okay and let me guess we're gonna see dinner too okay dessert again i guess the whole day that they're spending wait what, what happened to the dad okay stop filming this like we could see your pimples inside your pimples i don't remember when i turned 16. i doubt i had a party I doubt I had a cake. I doubt I was alive. Okay, here we go. Home cooking. I guess the home. Okay, I guess this is dinner. Okay, we got the busting out the pita. Was that guacamole? What? Karaoke? Did she say karaoke? Oh God, no. No. Anything but karaoke. Okay. They're out again. Okay, I guess this is dinner. Yep, I knew it. I guessed it. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wait, I thought they had it at at home. What is going on? How many times do they eat a day? Okay, that's the mom, I think. Wait, that's not the dad? What happened? Mom got another daddy. Okay, the waiter. Waitress. Oh, the, that, the same cake again. More ice cream. I mean, how much do they eat? It's like half the footage is them eating. <laughs> okay, I guess this is it. All right, it's time for the ratings. First up, we got entertainment. Okay, so at first I thought I'm going to hate this video, especially because it's not in English. But I think that actually made it more interesting for me because I was trying to figure out what they were talking about. Uh, I guess if it was in English, I probably would have been more bored and not paying too much attention. And the video did move along a pretty at a decent pace. Um, yes, some parts got boring. There was some cringe in there. 
um, the length is a little bit too too much maybe like a 10 to 15 minute would have been much better but then again this could have easily been two hour long and that just would have killed me um, so as far as entertainment goes the best I could do is a two out of five all right moving on to production now obviously these are just young girls recording themselves on the birthday and just having fun putting it on YouTube showing it to their friends uh, production obviously is not really considered in this case but I'm sure these girls had a lot of footage and they were able to edit it down to like 20 23 minutes so whoever edited this did a pretty decent job so for that effort I can give it a one out of five and finally we got education now obviously this isn't a video to learn something from uh, it's just for fun I'm trying to think if there's anything I learned from this video I guess it's in Hebrew and ah, there's just nothing there there's a couple of dishes I guess that I had never seen um, some desserts some some of the uh, you know the locals there the city a little bit of the city there wasn't much I guess that's what made it a slightly interesting just because you know it's in a different country um, I do like seeing different countries just to get a feel there was a tiny bit of that here I was gonna give it a zero but you know what let's give it a one out of five okay so we didn't end this episode on a high note but I guess it was something completely unexpected so that's something right on to the winner and the grand champion of episode 7 is none other than the Buffalo campus tool with a pretty good score second place goes to the impedance heating third is the sweet 16 followed by the express lanes fifth we got the tees then dead last with a score of a zero is the fourth all right if anybody wants to watch those videos they are linked below go ahead watch them enjoy and I'll see you on episode 8. Ari Diverci.